All right, me again. Um, got some wizardry I'm going to try out, so some new graphics and effects and stuff like that. I um, hope you appreciate those. Looking at something different today, Trimble Connect. You may have heard of it if you've got Tekla Structures licenses, either subscription or on maintenance. You've got Trimble Connect. Check it out. Pop a link. Check me out. Um, I've got a question about federating IFC models and then exporting that as a single file. So I'm going to walk you through how to do that in Trimble Connect. But actually, you'll also see the process for uh, creating new projects and uploading models and things like that. So uh, it's a pretty good introduction, I guess. Um, so let's kick off then with starting a new project. You can see the window here, right? We're going to say new project. So let's say Federation Demo. Um, and I'm going to pop this on Europe. I'm going to select my license. I'm just going to hit submit. That should create me a project. And then I'm going to want to add uh, some files. So let's add a new folder. Let's call it models, like so. And then we want to upload uh, some files, right? So let's go. And what we can actually do is just drag and drop. So on my other screen, well, hey, let's do it here. Um, let's find my model. Here we go. IFC, and I've got these two models. I've got a canopy and I've got a structure. I'm just going to drag and drop those into models. I'm just going to move those across, let them upload. There you go, we've got those now. So we can have a quick look at those. So let's view that one. And that'll bring up that model. Yeah, accept those cookies. And then we'll change that to looking at all the models in the project. We'll hit that one. It's just going to take a second to convert those. All right, so the canopy's done. We'll just wait for the rest of the structure. There we go. So we've got two models, two distinct models in here. So we've got a structure and a canopy. Two different models right so what we can do um, is go to the desktop version you can see we've got the project available in our list if we go into here and we can view these two so let's open that and then we hit model selection we'll add the structure as well we'll view that as well okay so we've got both of these models viewable if I just hit this button here and then change that, give it a name. So let's say federated model, like so. We're going to hit OK, pop that in models. And then when we go back, you can see we've got this federated model TRB, which again, we can view. And it's all, it's all one model now, which means that we can download this model. OK, so uh, well, I can download all of, all of them, or I can download them individually. So if I go back into there, and then I should be able to download that. So if I go into here and hit this, export the current 3D view as trim bin, put that in my downloads, save that, close out of here. And then if I go to my navigator, go to my downloads, that's in my other screen. Here you see I've got this exported view. So if we double click on that, it'll open with the desktop version of Trimble Connect, and then I'm able to view it, okay? And that's the that's the important point. So you're able to take a, a number of models, export them as a trim bin, send that to somebody, and as long as they've got the desktop version installed, which is free to use, they can open that TRB file and have a look at the model, all right? Um, thanks very much for, look, for watching. Um, I've got a number of videos planned coming up, some more tips, a bit of a demo, and then some PowerFab stuff. So look out for those. See you next time.